Hey guys, Cyvelix here, and today I'm going to make a video going over the DPS of every gun in Fortnite. Now with the new season, a lot of the guns got nerfed, so I just want to go over this. Just because, and I also want to help out my community, because I like Fortnite now, it's actually fun. But um, yeah, we're going to be ranking, we're, no not ranking, we're going to be going over the DPS of every gun that is currently in the game. Now, I'm not sure about every single gun, but I'm sure about most of them. So, yeah, and also if you're wondering how to get the DPS of a gun, let's look at the Boomba. So you take the fire rate and the damage, you multiply that, and then you divide it by 60, and that's your DPS. I don't know why for this it's 1.15, but I guess it makes sense because it shoots one bullet and then you have to reload. But, um, yeah, let's go over the guns that are in the game. And I'm going to be going over the all the rarity. So the pistol, surprisingly, has a really high DPS of 195.7. Now with a lot of these, there's going to be a decimal as well. So just keep that in mind. And also for single shots like the snipers, the DPS really should be its damage if you don't hit a headshot. Because it shoots one bullet and then you have to reload. So your DPS is... It, it can't be higher than the damage value. Anyways, the pistol. Oh, wait, I already said that, but high DPS. The revolver has a DPS of 99.0. The combat shotgun, which, by the way, got a massive nerf, as you can see in the stats. It has a DPS of 93.5. The gold tack has a DPS of 124. Point five. Now the pump shotgun, I think this is a little misleading. It has a DPS of 77. Now, I guess I can kind of, I think you can shoot it twice in one second. Let me just see. Hold on, let me just get my stopwatch out and let me see. You guys won't be able to see. Sorry, but like, I don't have one of those fancy video editing apps. Let me just see. Oh, so you have, oh, you can't even shoot the pump twice in one second, so the DPS should be just 110. Anyways, the little P90, as I like to call it, because this is the big P90, I mean, look at those stats. The little P90, yes, it's in the game, you have to get it by side grading. Um, the little P90 has a DPS of 200, which is the highest out of all the SMGs that aren't in the vault. At the moment. So the TAC SMG. Which got nerfed really hard. At the beginning of the season. Has a DPS of 189. The Gold Scar. Very good DPS. Very respectable. Of 198. Now the AUG. You may be wondering why is the DPS so low. It's because the fire rate. Is extremely. Extremely slow. I mean look at this thing. It's gonna have a low DPS with that fire rate. And also, if you are wondering, before it got its rework, I'm gonna call it, when it got a damage buff and a fire rate nerf, before it got reworked, it had a DPS of 181, which is pretty respectable. And also, um, correct me in the comments <laughs> if any guns that I don't mention are in the game and I miss them. Correct me on that in the comments. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be going over explosives since they all shoot one rocket a second. The Bolt has a DPS of 38.3. It's misleading. It's obviously 116. And it's obvious because you can only shoot one bullet per second because you have to reload right after. Um, Heavy Sniper, it should be 132. This, oh, that's, that's Walton. Alright, so for the Purple Pistol... Surprisingly, this has a the same DPS as the Gold Scar, but it shoots 9mm ammo. I know it's not 9mm, but that's what I like to call it. Um, this thing has a DPS of 189, just like the Scar. The Purple Revolver has a DPS of 94.5. The Gold Combat. No, not the Gold. The Purple Combat, sorry. The Purple Combat has a DPS of 90.1. The Tack Shot, the Purple Tack has a DPS of 118. 
the purple pump has a DPS of 70, but in reality, it really should be 100 because if, like I did from a test earlier, you can't shoot the pump twice in one second, so yeah. Also, wait, I, I don't think I covered the heavy AR, my bad, but um, the gold heavy has a DPS of 174. It's, that's really low. It's almost down there with the AUG, but um, the, the little P90, the purple little P90 has a DPS of 190, and the TAC SMG, purple TAC, might I add, has a DPS of 180. Now, with this knowledge, that means that the gold TAC SMG doesn't have a higher DPS than the little P90. That's, that's kind of weird, in my opinion. The purple scar has a DPS of 192.5. That decimal is really annoying. <laughs> Um, the purple heavy has a DPS of 165.7. Also, um, that new energy rifle thing, whatever it is, it's not in creative mode at the moment. I think if I open up a whole bunch of chests, I'll be able to get it, but I just don't want to go through all of that. The purple AUG has a DPS of 142.2. So if you want, if you base your weapons off DPS, first off, don't use it for shotguns or snipers or any of the single shots that reload after firing but um the aug has a really low dps too if you want to be able to beam people at the sky use the scar not the aug um purple bolt has a dps of 36 it really should be 110 um he purple heavy it really should be 126 the lmg now this thing is an absolute monster. If you ever find this thing in game, pick it up because look at that DPS. This is the highest DPS at the moment in the game. Well, that's in battle royale at least. I mean, the only the only gun that's higher than it is the minigun, but it's not in battle royale, so I don't really count it. Um, the blue pistol has a DPS of 175.5. That's a really big difference from last time, too, might I add. The, the blue combat has a DPS of 85. Also, do not use the combat. This thing, it, it has the same range, but they nerfed the damage so bad that you can't get a 100 damage headshot if you have the gold combat. Um, the blue tack is a DPS of 112, the blue pump 63, but it really should be 90 because of what I said like three times now. Wait, all right, I'll let me go over the rapid fire SMG because I'm not sure if it's, is it even here? The blue one is. Okay, well, <laughs> that's confusing, but um, all right, so the MP5, I like to call it. The blue one has a DPS of 180. The MP5 SD. This is very, very strange. It has a DPS of 171.6. The blue tack SMG has a DPS of 171.0. I wonder how many fights you're going to lose because of that DPS. You probably will lose five with the tack SMG because that smaller magazine. Oh man, this one. The blue rapid fire. I know the, this has a higher DPS than the LMG, but you have to hit every single shot to get that 200 DPS. And it also has high bloom and a small magazine, so good luck getting, out. no, good luck killing someone with one magazine. Alright, so the blue FAMAS, and as you see, the burst weapons are getting a really low DPS. Also, I know this isn't in the game, but I just want to throw the blue burst SMG in here just as a comparison. This thing has a, it's almost up there with the gold scar. It's mainly just because of that fire rate. But with this, this thing has a really low fire rate, which is why it has a low DPS. By the way, with most of these weapons, the reason why they have a high DPS is because of their fire rate. Not really damage for most of these weapons. Um, The blue M16... DPS of 181.5, really dumb decimals. The blue heavy, blue heavy has a DPS of 157.2. Wait, did I, I didn't cover those purple scope they are, did I? Or is it not in, oh, it's not creative yet. By the way, that's a thermal scoped. But on um, the scope they are, 
it's real. It's only slightly better than the um. What is it? It's only slightly better than the thermal scope. They are. It has a it has a DPS of 68, meaning that if you hit every shot and you don't hit a headshot and there's no damage drop off, it's gonna take you about four seconds to kill someone with this. Four or three seconds. I can't do the math. Um, hunting rifle. I'm not sure if this is in the game, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, hunting rifle has a DPS of 100 and no, not 100, 72, but it really should be 91. And just know with all these guns that whenever you shoot them, you have to reload or it takes a full second to shoot after you shoot once. The DPS is just the damage. The fire rate means nothing to DPS. Oh yeah, um, the bullet has a DPS of 34.7. The LMG, um, this, the blue one, might I add. The blue one has a DPS of 200. The pistol has a DPS of 168.7. Almost down there with the burst rifles, but it is a green gun. The green tack has a DPS of 160.5. The green pump has a DPS of 56, what really should be 80, like I've said about three times probably. The, the green MP5 has a DPS of 170. The green MP5 SD, by the way the MP5 is in the game, you just have to side grade to get it. Um, the green MP5 SD has a DPS of 163.8. Um, the green tack SMG has a DPS of 162.0. Now this home, um, the DPS, yes, it's over 200, but you have to hit literally every single shot if you want to get that 200 DPS. If you can't spray with accuracy, just just don't even use this thing. And also, um, no, nah, never mind. I'm saved to the end of the video. Um. The blue, the green FAMAS has 126.4 DPS, 170.5 DPS, 100, uh, oh, this is the green M16, I don't know why I didn't say that, but DPS on 170, pretty good. Um, the, the heavy, oh man, the, see, it's not talk about the slower fire rate, make your DPS worse. You see, in a game like Fortnite, your DPS is mainly determined by your fire. I'm pretty sure that's for every game. But whatever. Um, this has a DPS of 148. The green scoped. It has a lower DPS than the gold thermal scoped. Um, I know I didn't show it in the video, but that's just because it's not in the game. It hasn't been in the game for a couple years, I think. But um, this has a DPS of 64. This has a DPS of 68. 33. 162, 49, 102, 160, 156, 122.4, 165, 160 at 31.4. Now, if you guys want me to go over the DPS of every single gun, make sure to drop a like on the video. I know people don't like it, but it really shows that you want to see it. And I'll see you guys later. And also, I won't be uploading because of school. But see ya.